Hey class, welcome back. Um, I just want to show you what I created on my summer vacation. Uh, I let this dry for a while, so um, it's just about dry. There's still a little, the gel resist from the hair gel. Uh, takes a little bit longer to dry. However, uh, most of the other is. And um, so I had this idea, you know, again, things kind of left on the beach. Uh, everything from driftwood to seaweed uh, and then uh, also when you're looking around maybe in the dollar stores or uh, some kitchen aid or bathroom place you could uh, find these these are probably quite vintage they're old um, oh this one's not that old but it's uh, they have suction uh, cups on the back so you can uh, you know stick them on the walls and that kind of stuff um, so when I um, doing for this one is I, re I really like it again it goes with my kind of um, C theme so I'm going to take this guy I'm going to um, paint him up a bit uh, I've got some new colors that I've been using so I'm actually gonna uh, paint this up and then I'm going to um, stamp it okay you can see already um, how great that, that this one stamps and I'm just going to give a little bit of this, um, um, I think I'll do a lavender tone, okay? So in, again, in cases like this, I would also, when you do these type of things, make sure that you probably stamp it first, depending. I mean, I, I played with this guy before, so I kind of know how he works. Um, so again, I'm just kind of painting this on there. This is exactly what you're going to be doing for the fruit prints that we're starting right after this, okay? So, painting this on here, like that. Um, again, some areas you can um, leave blank if you like, but the thing about any of these kind of stamping things, they take kind of a life on their own anyways, so I would uh, like fill it in. Again, I've done this before, so uh, this one before, so I'm gonna Put a new spot in here right here okay and again I could press it down uh, sometimes I would use the brayer again uh, this is a little bit more tricky because you can see by me doing this it moves it around a little um, but again it comes out with a pretty nice um, uh, uh, view of that and I'm actually gonna go back over this one because this is one that I did while it was still too wet Okay, so I'm just going to uh, take uh, my paintbrush back again. I'm going to get it right in this color I just created. Now, this is also a good time when you're doing this. This is also a good time if you just wanted to add that other hint of color. Uh, almost look we did with the ground. I mean, again, I would be really kind of experimental with this, these techniques. I think some of the best results happen when you don't expect it, okay? Um, so I'm just adding a little bit more color to this. Uh, I even had some of that wonderful uh, lavender color in here, okay? So just play with them and just, you know, you can see already um, how different it'll be from the other ones, but related, okay? So again, I'm gonna put it right back in that space that was before. You know, press down those suction cups, get that on there. So this is well stamped now, okay? Um, and again, paper really makes a difference. Um, this is actually Bristol, uh, kind of like a Bristol board type of paper. But if I had to do it again, meaning I would definitely next time use uh, watercolor paper. Because what happens is watercolor paper is a little bit more, um, you know, especially with the different finishes, the kid finish or the really smooth one. It kind of soaks up the paint a bit more so you can get some interesting shapes. Uh, not so much shapes, it's just that the um, the paint adheres to it differently. Um, but this is really, I gotta say, this this is fine though. Um, okay, good. So again, if you see that, oh my god, this part didn't come out, go back in there. Go back in there with your paint. Um, it de something like this doesn't really matter if you, you know, the charm of any of these is that um, they're, they're, um, juxtaposed and they just, again, 
the charm is that they actually do take on their own life, okay? And just, you know, push that down a bit, let it set, and then just lift it up, and you really, you know, this will look really good when it's all done, okay? So, um, again, this just gives you a couple ideas in there. Also, on something like this, um, don't walk on my floor near my desk, you'd be sorry. Uh, also, on something like this, um, I would wait probably till it's dry dry, but I think I'll do it now since um, we're going to start the other project. You know, shake this up again. Th there's all wonderful kind of pearlized inks, gold, silver, um, some even have different shades. Um, so again, I just want a little bit here and there. I'm just going to put it in, um, very kind of random, okay? I'm actually going to find some, some of the shape of the uh, shell where it didn't go through. I'm just going to follow that shape and uh, it just puts it kind of all together. It gives a little highlight to areas, okay? So this is definitely um, in your wheelhouse to do. Um, just go back in, give a little... Again, it probably would be better if I waited until it was totally dry, but I wanted to be sure that you guys get to see that. And there, you can see how nice that looks. Um, just a little bit of highlight. I'm going to go back in here, paint in there. Put a little bit here, there, a couple dots here and there. Just like printing. Sometimes it works all the way through, sometimes it doesn't. But it just gives you that added little dimension, which I think on something like this. Now remember, um, it's a little bit different for me because um, I, I was more interested in showing you different techniques. But this is not your last lunch, okay? There'll be more, so don't, don't use every trick in the book on this, okay? I think it's really important. Um, sometimes it, if we do too much, um, this isn't quite there yet, but it could get there if I do any more to it. Um, if, if you do too much, it just starts looking you know, like a, a soup that you added everything in the refrigerator, which isn't a bad thing. Um, but you've, you've had time, to, you know, because introduced this project two weeks ago, so you've had some time to just kind of think of what you want to use and uh, paint, okay? So we're going to just set this guy up to dry. Um, I think it'll be really nice. I like it with the highlights. And then we have the next one we're going to start with. Now, right before, during the break, I went and um, painted a really pretty light periwinkle in the background, okay? So I did a light periwinkle in the background, and then remember, I am reusing my cardboards. This is corrugated cardboard, so it's, when you paint on it, it's got a natural kind of strie to it. So I have this wonderful strie that's already in it because when I went back over it, I actually went back over my painting with a brayer. So I use my brayer to go back over this by pressing it down that wonderful corrugated cardboard uh, came through. Thus, um, it almost looks like corduroy, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do on this one, you can see uh, around here, I've already got my fruit cut, um, you can take a bite out of one of the apples if you'd like. Um, I think I will. And then um, I also wanted to um, get some peppers in there because, you know, with the pepper rings, uh, when you cut them, you got this wonderful ring, but then you also got a stamp with the top, okay? So what I want to do also, which I don't, some of you might have these. These are, you can get these at flea markets sometimes. They're the, uh, I, we always give India credit for them, but they're the uh, hand blocks that were made, you know, for wall coverings and all that. And, you know, some people had a lot that they found, you know, old uh, flea markets and stuff. Um, again, it's all, it's, it's pretty exciting because it's all ready to um, be used 
uh, I want to do a border on this, okay? So I'm just going to uh, auction off. I'm going to actually t take this piece here and cover it up. Again, you could do it with tape or anything that you want, but I'm going to just cover this up with tape. Um, that's hiding under the orange. Just because I don't want the other, you know, when I start doing the painting thing, I don't want anything to go on top of this, okay? So, now, I've already gotten my paints mixed for this one. I'm actually going to do a little bit deeper purple for um, some of the pieces. So, I've got my apple cut and I've got my peppers cut, okay? So, again, I could do either one first, but I think I'm going to keep the um, peppers a little bit in the background, okay? So, I'm actually going to go back and use the paint that was for the ground, okay? This way, it'll be a play on play. Uh, again, I could do different colors, but I'm just gonna try that because I think it could look really good. Um, so, I'm going to actually use, remember class, most all the fruit has different seeds and stuff. Might be able to try to use them for something. Um, and this way, nothing gets wasted. Um, so, I'm right now, just putting these all forward for you all to see. Um, and this, again, I like a lot of, you know, bits of color and all that kind of stuff. So right here, from another palette, I'm just grabbing a little bit of this wonderful purple color, okay? I could even add a little bit of the brown that we had before to give it a little interest, okay? Almost looks like copper when you put it with another color. So again, I'm gonna just start it up here. Um, I'll show you in a second. And I'm going to do it kind of irregular as if it's going across, you know. Okay? Now, again, you could practice on this. Okay, like this one. That's actually, I have to put a lot more pressure on this. Okay? Now, remember, the, the vegetables have a lot of fruit in them. I'm sorry. <laughs> the vegetables, as well as the fruit, have a lot of water in them. Okay? Um, so, you can see, this starts working better when I put pressure on it. Now this also, that, I'm glad I brought this up, uh, this also is why it's really good for you to um, have paper. Uh, the watercolor paper is, it's a little bit thicker than the Bristol, so it'll, it gives a little, which is better for you, because sometimes you'll see in other projects, uh, especially the collagraph prints and stuff, we're going to need almost like a, um, we're going to need almost like a pad. You've seen them. You can buy them already made or make it with a t-shirt or something. And you put it under the paper and it, it gives a little. Like you see me right now, I'm really pushing this down, okay? And because it's a pepper, it's, it's very pliable. So I'm going to be okay with this, okay? And actually, this is a really good point. The more I squeeze this... Look at that wonderful the texture that's coming out, okay? It looks like I am doing it in watercolor. Uh, now remember class, when I'm doing these textures on top, I'm using, uh, you can definitely use gouache, but I'm actually using um, uh, acrylic because acrylic, you know, just leaves a different finish. Uh, it's a little bit stronger, I feel, than gouache. So it's just nice to uh, be able to Again, I'm just poking some more color in here. Um, and then I'm gonna just continue this process. You know, I'm trying to keep to a pattern on this one. Uh, that's something you can work out ahead of time. It, it, remember, I'm very, I'm just being really loose right now. Just in, And I'm gonna try to see if I can get two um, squeezes out of this. I'm being very loose and fancy free right now because um, you know, I'm doing it and I know you don't wanna see me on a video for three hours. So, um, I'm, you know, for me, I'm, I'm just, you know, kind of being speedy about this. Um, but you can see, it just really makes some great techniques, okay? And there's tons of different fruit you can use. Um, I'm really liking this. Um, I love that I added this extra color here because it almost starts giving it um, like a, bron uh, a copper look, okay? So, I think... Um, and this is where the pearlized colors and um, the, even some gold leaf would come in and it just really looked dynamite. Okay? 
Now, again, you could also, when you wash these out, you could probably use this again. It won't be as firm, of course, as when you started it, but, the, but it could lose some of the water, so it might be even, um, you probably won't get as much of a watercolor effect, but you would definitely get, um, it'll be more like a, a hard stamp, okay? Uh, again, adding these different tones in here. Now, the other thing, which I didn't mention before, um, but I think it's on your list, is gesso. A lot of you have worked with gesso before. It's, it's almost like a thick, well, you can get different strengths, but it's almost a real thick, um, uh, almost, like a, uh, almost like a glue in a way. Um, and we, a lot of our acrylic painters use that because maybe they want to get that more uh, graphic kind of line. Uh, not so much graphic, but a thicker line, okay? And they maybe want to stand out from um, what they, you know, what they're just using, okay? Now, okay, I'm almost done. I just want to um, show you how I'm going to, oh, where's it? I'm going to work that in there. So again, unlike the other one actually is turning out to be more of a pattern, uh, the one we just did with the shells and stuff, this one is definitely, looks like it's kind of done on purpose, okay? Um, so I'm going to do another one here to make that. Now, the reason I put this piece of paper here is because I'm going to do two more stamps and I don't want to, um, you know, I want to keep this pattern going, but I certainly don't want to get it on where I'm going to put the border, okay? So here we go again. I'm, I'm getting just the paint on here. I don't, you know, I think a lot of you have done a lot of stamping, so. Um, but just enjoy this. I mean, this is, this is really one of those air, uh, projects that you really get to kind of be rule free and enjoy it because, um, like I said, both, actually not this one, but this one behind me, I was able to use that as a uh, stepping, uh, as a jump off point for wallpaper, which again, we've done very, very well with, uh, with all these different leaves. So this gave me the idea. It's just like a, a writer when they do a, a story, they might write a short story, it turns into a novel, okay? Um, this one would easily work its way, I should have done this one, uh, into a beautiful, uh, you know, a uh, wall covering, and again, fabric. Um, it just, I use uh, wall covering for examples, because uh, a lot of times they just, they're flat and they show the pattern really well, okay? So here I am, you know, working my edges, just make it look like it's in repeat, that kind of thing. That's what I'm doing now. Um, and then we're going to do the border part. And then we're all set, and then you guys are then going to be in the driver's seat, okay? Um, so just almost set. I could try this here, there, and I'm done, okay? So, I wouldn't suggest eating that, but you could use the other part of it maybe. Okay, so look at this class. It's really got a nice feel to it. I, I like it. It's, it's, you know, the two-tone color. And I also now, this goes on the floor. I also now left room for this border here, okay? Now, again, you can see how it works with the strie. It's really quite nice. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is take my paints, and I actually did mix a different color for this. Um kind of like a deeper purple, and uh, this is one of the ones that I had found, and there was a great, I don't know if it's still around, uh, it could be, on Sunday in Manhattan, for those of you that are in the dorms, it's on like 73rd Street, and um, uh, 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 I think between Columbus and Amsterdam, and it, there's a school there, and they, oh, they have old fabrics, they have all kinds of knickknacks, they have a lot of these things. I think they might be open, but you'd have to call. But you probably have some in, you know, if some of you don't live in the city. Um, now, again, just like the, um, just like the apples, 
we are putting this in here. Um, and I am, just to connect the two a bit, I am just going to put a little bit of color in here. Um, this way, it kind of relates to the top, but at the same time, it's different, okay? So it's a wonderful cutout. And just think they used to have to do this all by hand uh, to get stripes, to get borders. Now again, I'm not, I'm starting it at the edge here. I'm actually going to see, you know, I'm going to see if I can try to do two in here, okay? So push, now these you can really push down, okay? I think the more pressure, the better. Okay, so let's see. Oh yeah, woo, -hoo. nice. Um, ooh, this is really nice. Anybody want to buy this from me? Okay. Yeah, class, these are, well, I, God, just, maybe if you got friends or something that uh, collects these, or, um, you know, you might have some yourself. They just really make great, um, and, and they come in all different shapes and sizes, and, you know, they just add that extra element um, that's so nice. Um, again, here I go back with my uh, kind of copper color, another hit of this wonderful purple. Um, okay. Okay. Now again, just again, the beauty, the charm of this is that it's not perfect, but try to get it in line. Okay. So I'm going to go right here again and I'm going to press down. Okay. So I'm pressing this down now and there it's re it's really taking flight now. Um, Again, pop a little of this color in, and just because I do have the room, I think I just have the room, I am going to do an extra border. Okay, so I got that down again. Just be careful if you're working, you know, on a board or something that you allow, you know, that, you know, that it moves and stuff, and don't, um... okay, great. Now again, if you're really neurotic, you can take your paintbrush afterwards and, you know, maybe just fill in those little things or leave this kind of wonderful, uh, actually, I think I might, since I am neurotic, um, I think I will just take the same paint and I'm just going to fill in a little bit here, okay? Um, just a little. I mean, we know it's a wood block. It's supposed to be irregular, so I like that, but I... I do feel like giving this a nice double border. So again, I'll alternate. Um, um, I'm going to alternate this one with this. So um, I'm going to alternate this so it doesn't look like it's um, you know done by machine. Okay. So I knew I did it here. So now I'm going to do it right here. Press that down, you know, really, you know, put your weight on it. Um, okay, yeah, oh, I love it. Um, I'm gonna just get my paint back. Now remember, all these caps and tops, uh, you really, yes, you can buy containers, and I, I know this isn't the fanciest looking thing you've seen, but, um, I, you know, it just, I, th I think now more than ever, we just kind of waste so much um, uh, paper and cardboard because of all this packing. I mean, look at all the packages we get. Um, I just got a new measuring, measuring um, actually T-square, 36 inches, but because um, my other one, after you use them, they get kind of uh, a little bit loose. It came in a huge box, and that was the only thing in it. And... Um, and I was able, actually, to use the paper that I used before, the wrapping paper, I mean the brown paper, just to, um, just to go ahead and use it again so it's not wasted, you know. Um, okay, so again, this is my last thing with this guy. A little bit of that there. And... I'm going the opposite end, so I'm just going to push this down. Just give it a rest. Okay? And once you play with different um, things, 
you get to, you definitely get to see, um, you know, you'll definitely get a feeling of what you can do. Okay. Now, just because it's demonstration, I am just doing one more thing. Um, I am just going to actually go in here. I'm going to take one of my uh, magenta colors. Um, also, class, these things are great. So when you're doing the the wrist, uh, the resist with the hair gel and stuff, just make sure you go ahead and um, you know make sure that you go ahead and you know you might have to spray your board a bit if you feel like it's getting dry. And now again, uh, the last thing I'm doing with this project, I think, uh, is I'm just going to stamp in between here, okay, with the apple, okay? Oops, okay. Now again, I'm going to stamp it again because I didn't get all the ears, but you got, really got to press this down actually. Okay. Um, not quite doing it. Um, <laughs> Okay, I know what I'm going to do. Now remember class, this is actually a good point. I'm glad it happened, sort of. Um, make sure that when you do these, you've got to really cut, you know, if they're off just a little, um, you know, when you cut fruit in half and everything, um, one end sticks up a little, the other doesn't. I can actually see where it's not sticking up, but that's why you got to really, you know, press down hard, which I'm going to do again, um, and make my circle, okay? So I, I, I saw, this is why I actually um, practice on another sheet of paper when you're using different fruit that you might not, not use before, just because, yeah, there's the effect, okay? Um, it definitely finally mustered that end of the apple. Again, I'm gonna play it off a little with my paint thing there, okay? And then, I'm going to alternate this up and down and up and down. Okay. Now, if I had to do this over again, I probably would have used a line uh, just because I think it would have been a little bit more uh, size-wise, I think it would be better. But I think once we get this going, it'll be fine. Now, see, I'm really giving a lot of pressure class. I'm, I'm doing those edges with my pinky and my thumbs, okay? Lifting this, oops, oh yeah, that's better. Lifting this back up. Um, now what I'm going to do, just be, to hit the different areas, I am going to go and print the other way, just that both sides, you know, are symmetrical, okay? Yeah, see, that's much better, okay? And, ooh, ouch, be careful, class, Oh. Okay, <laughs> that's what I get for being messy. Uh, but just, just for yourself, be, do be careful because there's nothing worse than, uh, you know, doing a nice, beautiful layout and then all of a sudden screwing it up, okay? Um, okay, so really press down. You see me getting all those edges. That's much better, okay? And you can see the curve of the apple. Again, and I can go back into this. Um, but I think that just gives you a really, uh, let's see, we'll do this one here. This just gives you a really good idea of what you're capable of doing, okay? Now again, when this dries, I'm gonna go back and just touch up the little areas. But with that being said, again, the char you know, the charm and everything is this kind of irregularity, okay? So I'll definitely go back and fix up some of those areas. Um, so now you're all set to keep going yourself, and um, I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.